So today we're going to be reviewing the very first Hot Toys action figure on this channel and I went with Bo-Katan. She's the most recent Hot Toys figure I got. Uh, it was about a week ago at this point and I've been waiting for her for a really long time now. Probably over a year at this point. I know, at least for me, she was originally slated to ship around April and then it's been delayed and then got delayed again and then now here it is December. And I finally have her, and it was totally worth the wait. She's one of the best pieces I think I have in my collection right now. And sometime soon I'm going to be doing a top 10 video for 2022. And Bo-Katan is definitely going to be making that list between TVC, Black Series, and Hot Toys. Uh, so, if you didn't know, Hot Toys is basically the six scale action figures and to me this is peak star wars action figure collecting or any action figure collecting in general they make more than just star wars but it's uh if you want the best of the best of a character that's important to you hot toys is definitely the way to go even over tvc and black series you're going to get the most out of the action figure and as you can see here very good likeness to the actress and the character herself um so at this point i have about 13 hot toys action figures and anakin skywalker was the very first one i got back in it was around june of 2018 i actually got that off of ebay and at this time uh anakin was no longer in production and for sale on sideshow's website so i had to get it on ebay but i got it for a good price at the time i think i actually paid only about 189 for it which I know it sounds expensive. Hot Toys is very expensive. I actually paid $301 for this. So Hot Toys is real expensive and it's gotten even more expensive in recent years. Um, if you go back to 2019 and prior, most of the Hot Toys action figures were actually under $200. But now it, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to find one for less than $250, even for the cheaper end ones. So inflation is really killer in that way. Uh, but one thing about Hot Toys is it's not really a collect them all type of scale. It's you only get the ones that are very important to you. And Bo-Katan here happens to be one that's important to me. So a little bit more of the history of Hot Toys. Um, basically, it's a sub brand under Sideshow Collectibles, which Sideshow made all the Star Wars six scale action figures between about the mid 2000s up until about the mid 2010s. I'm not sure the exact time Hot Toys started, but I think it was around 2015, 2016 time frame. And before that, uh, before SciShow, under the SciShow banner, it was um, Hasbro made all the 12-inch action figures. This came a long way over the years. We went from cartoony-looking dolls, basically, to what you see here today. It's basically a person scaled down to action figure form. That's how good it looks. Uh, but we'll talk more about the action figure here in a little bit. I'll show you what the box looks like first, which this is one of the few things where I've actually saved all my boxes up until now. And it's pretty large. It does take up a lot of space. But it looks really nice. And if I ever need to store away the figures for whatever reason, this is a good storage place to put it. Very nice image of the figure there. Kind of similar to how I have it mirrored. And this is just the outer shell. So, and this is uh, just a band that they've put around for some of them in recent months. Not all of them have had this. Some do, some don't. It's the figure number right there. Where's Bo Katan, six scale. Nice image there. Just more name. Another nice image of the figure there. Then you just take that off. And then it comes with this outer sleeve here, which again, another nice image of the figure in action. You get a lot of nice action poses out of these. You can spend an infinite amount of time on it. And that just comes out like so. 
then we have where the actual figure is housed. I have all the accessories out here on display, and I'll show you that here in a bit. And of course this entire shell comes out as well. And nothing really more to see. So that's the package. So we'll get into the actual figure. And I'll just take her off the display base here. Helmet down here. So we'll start off talking about the head sculpt. Like I said, that's a very good likeness to the actress that plays Bo Katan. It's really impressive what they've done. When I first discovered Hot Toys, and I believe Anakin Skywalker was actually the first one I saw from Revenge of the Sith, that it was like, is that really an action figure? So it's really nice how much detail they put into these. They even go so far as to put all the spots and the creases and their and the lines in their face and on their forehead even. Nice detailing in her headband there, which I'm pretty sure that's the same headgear that Jango Fett wears in Attack of Clones when he's piloting Slave One. Very nice hair sculpt there. It's a good flow to it. Looks very realistic. They even go over to as much detail as to put the pupils in. As you can see there in some angles. So some of the Hot Toys action figures, not this particular one. But uh, Darth Maul and the Mandalore Ahsoka, for example, you can actually rotate the eyes, which is a nice detail. Not really a big deal on this. So we'll get into the armor here. Very nice detailing in that. So most of her outfit, I think, is just pleather here and then the actual armor itself is just a really hard plastic. Has the death watch symbol on each shoulder there. And let's talk about this belt for a second. I'm really impressed how they did the pouches on this. This is one of my favorite parts. It looks very realistic and down to the holsters too. It doesn't really look like something you would see in Star Wars at all, actually. It looks like something you see in real life. They don't flip up, unfortunately, which, quite frankly, what would there be the purpose for that? But they look really nice. I'm, I think they did a really nice job on this belt. More pouches in the back here. And it's just a very thick cloth for pants here. Then her knee and shin armor. Which this is about the only small drawback I will say about this action figure is... Take, take a look about how far that shin armor sticks out. It almost looks like she doesn't have any feet at all. And this pleather material that they use to... For the shin armor is very thick as well. Which doesn't really help making it look like she has no feet. And it actually straps around her boot there, as you can see, at the bottom there. Jetpack has nice detailing. You can't take the missile out. No big deal. Jango Fets you can, and it does come off. And it's on Velcro. And I'm glad that she has this plate here because it helps in a way where the jetpack only sits in one place. So that way if you do put it on, it can't be lopsided or anything like that. So that's really nice. 
And these effects here are removable as well, which I'll show you. They are part of the accessory she comes with. And they just pop out like so. So in terms of accessories in the grand scheme of things, as far as Hot Toys is concerned, she's pretty light in them, but she comes with everything that she could essentially need. But look at that. Very nice detailing. It looks like a realistic pistol, actually. And it almost looks like she has a wooden grip there. And her hands do fit around the trigger finger no problem which as you can see here this is just one of the extra hands she comes with you might have to finagle with it a little bit I'll show you what it looks like as you can see like that have to be careful with that a little bit. You don't want to risk breaking anything. But Hot Toys is pretty sturdy. I haven't, as fragile as sometimes they feel, they're actually very hardy. And it fits into her holster there, no problem. Uh, so for the other accessories, of course she comes with her helmet here. It's very nice detailing in that. Has a lot of scratches and scratched off paint and deans and everything else, as you can see there. Looks really nice. And she does have a movable rangefinder as well. So it's not a removable helmet, you just pop off her head, which can be a little tricky sometimes. Then you just pop her helmet on like so. It is very clunky, at least for mine, almost like it's a ratchet, but it looks really nice. Proportions are great on it. Absolutely no complaints. Personally for me, I'm going to keep her displayed with her helmet off. I like having her displayed where she's holding on to her helmet. Uh, other accessories on her gauntlets here. She does have this blade, which as you could see in the photo on the package there it's like she can be stabbing some type of stormtrooper and that does pop out as well can be a little tricky it's a very light accessory and just fits in the place there and then another piece she comes with is just this really really small one that fits in the place might be the opposite way. Yeah. And it fits in there like so. So another accessory she comes with that it took me a week to actually figure this out as to where it goes. It's not noted in the instruction manual at all. And it's this dart, which you would think it would go somewhere on her gauntlet here where there might be a piece or something where it would fit in but it turns out you just wedge it in between her gauntlet and her wrist there like so 
it doesn't look bad at all. I think they could have done a little bit better job with that. At least have something where you can insert this into a gauntlet somewhere. Or a small pinhole or something like that. But it's alright for what it is. For me, that's probably how I'm going to have her displayed is with the blade out at all times. And, of course, she comes with a few extra hand accessories, which, of course, you've seen this hand here where it's more of an open grip or an open palm where she can hold her helmet. Like so. Looks pretty good. And, of course, this one's for her pistol hand where she can hold it in her right hand. And just to show off the rest of the accessories as well. Each hand, of course, there's this one that goes on her gauntlet, then the dart here, then the other trigger hand for her left hand, another left hand, which this one's actually used for this communicator here. And if it's very good grip on that, and very nice detailing in this as well. Even went so far as the detail in where she would speak, where it has that netting look. Uh, what else? She also has a left fist here. She could be like she's punching a stormtrooper. And a right fist here as well. And then another hand accessory where I suppose you could say she's... This is just the opposite of this one here, where she could be like she's holding a helmet or motioning to someone to come with me or something like that. So overall, she comes with three right hands and four left hands. And she also comes with these spare joints as well. These can break. They get brittle over time, so it's nice that each, at least all the hot toys I've had up until now, each one comes with. A few spares and especially this one she has a very unique joint on there where it can rip out very easily which is the problem I had with her right hand here so something to keep an eye out on and of course the instruction manual here which I said unfortunately it doesn't the instruction manual notes as to what each part does but unfortunately it does not with this dart here And I'll just show you what it looks like. And yeah, as you can see, there's really nothing on it that notes that particular dart. And just showing off the display base, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, so for the base here, so each of the Hot Toys action figures comes with a unique display base. Uh, troopers especially, they come with more of an environmental base. Commander Cody comes with Utapau and it has footprints in it where you can put his feet and it looks like he's standing in sand basically. And Bo-Katan comes with, I would assume would be supposed to be on a ship of some sorts. You can take the nameplate that you see here out, pops in and out no problem. And I would recommend having your Hot Toys action figures standing on their stand and having this grip around something on them. I keep Bo-Katan's around her leg but it's because of the jet pack and the way her pouches are. It doesn't fit around her waist very well and I wouldn't want to risk potentially uh, rupturing it in some way where it punctures it or anything like that so it keep, I keep it around her leg and it fits pretty good I think well, it does have a soft grip and you can't take this out as well it just screws in and interesting thing about this pole here is it does bend which and you could take this off as well 
unfortunately mine's a little warped not sure how that happened you can uh, actually send an email to sideshow and point out defects to them and they'll send you new ones but something like this to me it's unique to my figure so it's not a big deal I did have that with uh, Empire Strikes Back Vader where the silver piece at the end of his uh, mouth was broken off when I received it and I took a picture of it, sent it in the sideshow and they sent me a replacement Darth Vader helmet and let me keep the original for free. So that was very nice of them. So if you have any defects on any of your hot toys, I would recommend sending them a picture of that and they'll take care of that for you. And then something unique for Bo-Katan is, it's kind of a lazy accessory, but it's just this railing here. Nothing much to say about it, but it's supposed to just go along with the display base. And there's nothing to actually attach it, it just, you just put it there and that's it. I think they should have included something where it can snap in and out of place and you can take the nameplate off as well and put this on the front so for the last piece for Bo-Katan that she comes with which doesn't come with too many of the Hot Toys figures is this background image it's just a still shot from somewhere in the Mandalorian series, I think. It's not the best background. It's very pixelated. Looks like it's a zoomed in image of some sorts. But I am glad that they included this. Sometimes it's nice to have some different backgrounds for your figures. And it folds up nice. The only other Hot Toys figure I've gotten that includes a uh, background like that is uh, Hot Toys A New Hope Leia. She has the uh, Tainted 4 as her background. Let's give you one more close up image. Then the last thing I'll note for her is her articulation, which being a six scale and from what you've seen up until now, you could tell she's super articulated, very good ball joint, the neck there can look down really good, can look up in some ways too. Hinge at the shoulder, Be careful with the shoulder armor there. It is held by Velcro, so if it pops off, don't be alarmed by it. Uh, she does have a hinge at the shoulder there. And it only goes 90 degrees. I have seen some people complain about that. Uh, it should be a double joint. And a lot of times the Hot Toys figures are double joint. I don't really have a big complaint about this. I think it's fine for what it is. And of course she has a hinge at her wrist there as well. Has a good range of motion. Uh, she does have a hinge torso technically. But she's very restricted by her breastplate there and her belt it's very restrictive of the movement and she has hinge tips as well which I'm not going to move it too much because sometimes you do have to be careful with these it, this this uh, cloth material will be a big deal but for some it's leather for instance and you don't want to risk tearing the leather and she does have hinge knees as well which only go about 90 degrees, similar to the elbows, and then hinge ankles as well. Other than that, that's all there is to say about Bo-Katan. Would I recommend her for your collection? I would, especially if you're a fan of the character and you're a fan of collecting six scale hot toys in general. Even if you're not big into the Hot Toys, I would recommend getting into it. They're, like I said, it's peak Star Wars action figure collecting. I know some people say, oh, I'm three and three quarter inch all the way, and oh, I'm all six inch all the way, but 
for anybody to have at least a few six scales in their collection especially for characters that you really like and you want the best of the best of them uh so what else is there to say about hot toys and it's not a line where you feel like you have to collect every single one it's just pick and choose which ones are most important to you very expensive like i said so if you are interested in buying hot toys you have to buy it while it's in stock at sideshows or pre-order it if you wait till afterwards for the first couple weeks you might be able to get away with it on ebay or aftermarket sites but if you wait a year after it goes out of production the prices skyrocket on it uh give you a good example is the exclusive darth maul that came out in 2019 and he had the Suspear with him. I spent about, I think it was 390 for it, which at the time it seemed really expensive. But now, you look at the prices of it on eBay, it's way up in the thousands. And I'm sure Bo-Katan will be no exception. Many other characters as well. Even a New Hope Leia, a lot of times, bare minimum, it goes for like $600. Which usually Leia is at the cheaper end of any action figure scale. So if she's going for prices like that, you know what... Characters like Bo-Katan or any others, for that matter, would be. So I would highly recommend, if you're even if you're remotely interested in the action figure, get it while it's in stock at Sideshow. Get it on pre-order. Uh, at this time, at the time of this video, you still can pre-order Bo-Katan. I don't think she's just an add-to-cart option yet. A lot of times when they do go for add-to-cart options, it's usually up for maybe six months to a year depending on the demand of the action figure, but that's generally why I see most of them up for. Uh, so other than that, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more reviews in the future. There will be plenty more to come for all scales, TVC, Black Series, Hot Toys even. I'll get around to the rest of the Hot Toys I have here soon. And stay tuned for many of the, more of those here in the future. And if you have not already please like the video and subscribe to the channel greatly appreciate the support and check out the instagram link in the description as well I have a lot more images coming soon on that and thanks for watching